Hi everyone, welcome to another Procreate tutorial. This is the drawing that we will be completing in today's video. If you are new here, I mainly post Procreate tutorials, so if that is something you are interested in, go ahead and subscribe. Otherwise, before we get started, the only thing that you will need to do is download the color palette. I have it linked in the description below. It's totally free to download. Just open up the file that downloads and it'll automatically pop into Procreate so that you can use the same colors as you follow along with the video today. I will also put the canvas dimensions, color profile, and layers needed on the screen here and in the description below so that you can use those when setting up your canvas. So take a minute to get everything ready and then come back and we'll get started. Okay, this is the color palette that we will be working with today. So the first thing that we are going to do is set our background color. So let's open up our layer menu on this background color layer. Let's click on that and then grab the first color on the first row to fill it in with that color. And then next we are just right away going to make our little capsule shape. So to do so, we are going to turn on symmetry. So let's go to the gear icon under canvas, click to turn on the drawing guide and then click edit drawing guide and click symmetry. You should see a vertical line. If you do not, you might need to select vertical under the options menu and then go ahead and click done. And then let's go back to our layer menu and just make sure that this layer one that we're on says assisted. If it does not, you will need to click on it and turn on drawing assist. But let's go ahead and grab our second color on the top row, our dark blue. And we are going to grab the monoline brush under the calligraphy tab. Let's have that set to about 50%. And I'm just going to, on the right side here, draw a circle shape, pull it down, touch my finger to the screen to make it a perfect circle, increase the size a little bit, maybe just about to here taking up a good amount of room. And then next I am going to start at the top of this circle here at the very, very top and draw a straight line over, hold it down, touch your finger to the screen to make it perfectly horizontal, and then go ahead and click edit shape if you need to, to make it meet up nicely with the top of our circle so that there's no like little spot poking out. It's easier to see it on the side that doesn't have the dot on it, so the left side in this case, but you can see it makes a nice clean transition there. But move it around until you get it into a good spot, and then go ahead and click the brush again, and we are going to do the same thing on the bottom. So at the very bottom of this circle here on the right, draw a line straight over, hold it down, touch your finger to the screen, click edit shape, and we'll drag it around until it looks good. Maybe about there. And then let's go ahead and just start filling everything in. If you have any little gaps where you filled it in, go ahead and fill those in with your brush. So we have a nice solid shape here. And then we'll just get straight ahead into the rest of it. So we will grab the arrow tool and we are going to rotate it a good amount. Maybe about like this. So it's not quite like 45 degrees. It's a little higher than that. So it's closer to vertical than it is to horizontal, but only just a little bit. And then let's just go ahead and get it closer to the center of our screen. Other than that, we don't need our symmetry anymore, so we are going to go to our gear icon and just turn off the drawing guide so we don't have to look at that anymore. Go to our layer menu and on this layer, just click on it and turn off drawing assist so that it doesn't try to do symmetry anymore. Next, we're going to create the oval that in the middle that is going to separate the top from the bottom where our liquid is and then the top where our sky is. So let's add a new layer above this layer. Grab the third color on the top row. Same monoline brush. And we are going to draw a very skinny horizontal oval like this. Hold it down. Touch your finger to the screen and it should snap it to like a perfectly horizontal angle like this. If your snaps to a circle, you might have drawn it a little too close to a circle shape, so you can uh, redraw it closer to an oval so that you can snap it horizontal like this. Let it go, and then we're going to click Edit Shape, and we are just going to line it up 
nicely about in the middle somewhere, touching both edges. Adjust your oval if you need to so that it touches the edges very, very closely, like so. And then go ahead and fill it in. And even though we got it very close, it still might be sticking off of the edges just a little bit. So I'm going to go to my layer menu and click on this layer and set it to a clipping mask so that it clips to our background shape here. It did make kind of a, a harsh line on this one, so I am just going to click my arrow tool and downsize it just a little bit so that it's not so off looking. So maybe something more like that. I'm also just going to move it a little bit and kind of put it in a better spot so it looks to be closer to the middle. So adjust your oval as you see fit. You can even make it a little skinnier if you need to by clicking the arrow tool, setting it to free form and then just dragging the bottom or top up or down to make it a little skinnier and then just place it again in a nice spot like so. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my layer menu on this oval layer here. I'm going to click on it and set it to alpha lock. And then I'm going to grab the fourth color on the top row and I'm going to switch my brush to the soft brush under the airbrushing category. Let's set the size to maybe five, six, seven percent somewhere in there, pretty small. And I am just going to start kind of working from the center of my oval and then towards the edges. Not going all the way up through the edge, but just trying to kind of lighten it a little bit so we kind of get a faded white edge here with a blue center. Working very lightly at first and then pushing harder as we get closer to the middle. Kind of going over the edges a little bit too to lessen how bright they are with that color that we use. So something kind of like this. Then we'll grab the fifth color on the top row, the darker blue, and we will work that in just the center, just a teeny little bit there, very lightly again, like so. If you're having a hard time getting it to be very blended, what we can do with alpha lock turned on already is go to the wand icon, hit Gaussian blur, and then slide this up a little and you'll get a nice like blur of colors that might be that might work a little better for you if you're having trouble getting it to be very like gradual and soft. So do that if you need to otherwise you can just take your time and work with the brushes to get this nice you know fading effect from dark to light. You can even go back in with your brightest color if you went too far you can grab the third color on the top row and start from the edges and work your way back in if you need to or grab the fourth one if you need some more work there and then go back to the fifth one as needed as well to add more of that to the center and now we are going to fill in the water area of our capsule so this part is going to stay this dark blue this is our night sky but now we will go back to our capsule layer now Click on it and turn on alpha lock. Grab the fourth color on the top row. Switch back to our monoline brush under the calligraphy tab. And I'm just going to draw a line from side to side kind of here right behind my oval so that I can fill in the bottom section of my pill with that color. If yours fills over the line like this and fills the whole thing in, all you need to do is Go back, redrop your color, hold your pen down on the screen while you're dropping it, and then slide to the left to lower the threshold. I slid all the way to the left as far as I could, but then just do it again if you need to and keep sliding until you get it to stop right there so that just our bottom section is filled in. And now we're going to do a similar thing. We're going to go back and grab our soft brush under the airbrushing category. And we are going to grab the fifth color on the top row, the darker one. We'll increase the size for this one, maybe to 10 to 12%. And I am just going to lightly start adding this right towards the center area of my water or of my liquid or whatever. Kind of just splotchy, no real like rhyme or reason to it, just to add some more dimension to this area. More so just kind of towards the middle, leaving the top and bottom a little bit lighter. And then I will go back in and grab the sixth color on the top row, the little bit lighter color. And I will focus this kind of towards 
the top and bottom as well, just kind of on the edges here to kind of brighten up those areas even more. Something about like this. Okay, and then next we are going to add the moon so that we can add the bubbles and stars around it. So we are going to go to our layer menu, add a new layer above all of our layers, grab the first color on the second row, and we are going to switch back to our monoline brush again under the calligraphy tab, same size, about 50%. And I'm just going to draw a circle, hold it down, touch my finger to the screen, click edit shape and drag it about in the center of my capsule area like this. I have adjust the size so it fits nicely in the middle and then go ahead and fill that in. Then I'm going to grab my selection tool, set it to ellipse, make sure color fill is turned off. And I'm just going to start on the outside, kind of top right corner, just outside the circle, just a little bit. Drag towards the center until we get a nice circular shape. That's going to be the cutout. So everything around it is going to be our moon shape. So if you don't like the shape that you got, go ahead and just undo it and try again. I might start a little further out to cover a little bit more area, but try to make sure it's a nice circular shape and not oval, not more like an oval or anything to get a nice crescent moon. But once you have a nice area selected, click the arrow tool and then drag that off the screen so that it is gone. And now we are left with our crescent moon shape. You can click the arrow tool if you want to, and you can uh, resize it or rotate it or place it better, whatever you need to do. I'm going to rotate mine just a little bit, kind of facing this way. And then I'm going to place it right about here. So part of it is under the water and then part of it is in the sky. Then we're going to just add a little definition to our moon. So we're going to go to our layer menu, click on this moon layer, click on alpha lock. Grab the second color on the second row and switch back to our soft brush again under the airbrushing category. With this darker color, with my brush set at about 10%, I am going to focus on the left outer edge of my moon to make it a little bit darker, like so. Grab the third color on the second row and focus this towards the inside to make that a little bit brighter like so very softly so it all blends together nicely okay then to kind of get the effect of our moon being under the water and going through the top of the water we are going to go to our eraser we are going to click it again to open up the menu so that we can again find our soft brush under the airbrushing category we are going to set that to about Set it to about 3%, very, very small, and we are just going to erase a nice solid line part way through our moon, like so. It'll get softer on the edges because of the brush that we're using. And then we'll just zoom in, and I just wanna leave the top part alone so we still have some of the top part of our moon above our oval in the background. But I want to erase pretty much the entire bottom part until we hit the edge of this oval here like so so the moon doesn't start again until it's like under the water go ahead and smooth out this top eraser part if you need to okay so now our moon is kind of cut in half but then now we want this bottom part to be pretty faded as well so we're just going to increase the size of our eraser to maybe 10 to 15 percent somewhere in there and i'm just going to very very lightly go over this whole bottom area to kind of erase it just a little bit so it's more faded. Okay, and now we're going to add a glow to our moon. So we are going to go to our layer menu, slide left on this moon layer and hit duplicate. The bottom one that pops up, go to that one. Alpha lock is already turned on. Grab the fourth color on the second row, the lightest peach color. Go back to our layer menu, this bottom moon layer, click on it and click fill layer. Now you can see this layer filled in with a lighter color. Click on it and turn off alpha lock now. Click the wand icon, click Gaussian blur, and let's drag this up to maybe 15% to give a nice glow around our moon there. It's not quite enough, but I don't want to extend it any further. So I'm going to leave it at 15%. And then I'm going to go to my layer menu and make a duplicate of this glow layer. And now you'll see we have a much brighter glow. Now I'm going to go to my layer menu and just snap these two layers together. And it's a little bit too bright, so now I'm just going to find my glow layer, click the end to open up the menu, and we'll drag the opacity down a little bit, maybe to like 75%. 
to kind of lessen it a little bit, but it's definitely brighter than when I just had the one layer. So that is kind of what we were going for. So that is our moon. So now we can add our stars and our bubbles. So let's first add our stars. Let's go to our layer menu, add a new layer above all of our layers. We're going to use this same peach color that we're on the fourth one on the second row, but we are going to switch back to our monoline brush again. Let's drop the size to maybe 20%. And I'm just going to make a star shape the way that you normally would like this, but then hold it down at the end and procreate will snap into a pretty shape. I'm going to click edit shape and then I can adjust some of my legs of my stars. There's one that will probably be like this, but just keep the two points together. But then all the other ones should just be points that you can adjust like so to get a nice star shape. You can make it even like wonkier if you want to, whatever you want. I'm going to make mine a little more perfect. And then go ahead and just fill in all the little sections, either by color dropping or using your brush. Perfect. It's a little big, so I'm just going to click the arrow tool, set it to uniform, and downsize it just a little bit. So we're going to have three of these guys. So let's go to our layer menu, make a duplicate of this star layer. Click the arrow tool, and I'm just going to downsize a little bit on uniform and rotate it a little and then just kind of place them around. So we'll do like a smaller one here, make a duplicate of the bigger one again, or either of them really doesn't matter. And then I will just rotate it a little bit in the other direction and place it down here like so. Then we'll go to our layer menu and snap all three of these stars together so they're all on the same layer. Slide to the left and hit duplicate so that we can add a glow around these now. This bottom one will be our glow layer. We're not going to change the color at all. This is a good color for the glow as well. So we're just going to select the bottom one, click the wand icon, Gaussian blur, and let's just drag this up to maybe 10% to add a little bit of a glow there. Okay, let's add some more tiny stars around it now. So let's add a new layer above all of our layers. Grab the fifth color on the second row. Same monoline brush. We're going to set the size to maybe 60% to make some bigger stars. So I'm just going to make some dots all around the sky. So yeah, we'll do a few of these like bigger ones. And then I'm going to drop my size to 30% and make some smaller ones as well. Just kind of filling out the sky here, even around the moon. Not really going to go on the back side of the moon but if you if you do have a good amount of room there you can add some there as well i just don't really have a ton of room right there then we'll go to our layer menu and again make a glow so we'll make a duplicate of this little stars layer the bottom one select it click the wand icon gaussian blur and we'll probably only go to maybe like five to six percent to make a little glow around those as well okay so that's it for our sky portion. So now we'll go back and add the bubbles in the water. So we will just add a new layer above all of our layers to do this. Grab the seventh color on the top row, same monoline brush. This time we'll set it to 100% to make some bigger dots in the water, like so. A few of those, then let's drop the size to maybe 50% and add some smaller dots as well. And then we'll drop it even further to 25% to make some smaller dots as well. With the bubbles, I'm just kind of keeping them like in little clusters. That's more bubble-like. I guess I should have mentioned that before, but I'm not like filling out the whole shape. I'm just kind of making like clusters of dots, kind of like this. I go back and make one more towards the bottom here. So add as many or as few of those as you would like, and then we will move on. So the next thing that we're going to do is kind of make the little edge of our capsule here that makes it look more realistic. 
So we are going to go to our layer menu. We are going to make a duplicate of this main capsule shape layer. So slide to the left, hit duplicate. Uh, grab the bottom one and drag it all the way to the top. I say the bottom one because if we selected this one where this clipping mask is, it might have ruined that. And we don't want to do that. So make sure this is still clipped to your main pill layer. You can't see any of our other beautiful stuff because this is on top now. This layer is already set to alpha lock, but double check that yours is. And then grab the third color on the top row and go back to our layer menu and click on this layer and click fill layer. So we have a bright white capsule now. But we are going to do a similar thing that we did with the moon and the oval and kind of just erase the main area of this so we just get the white edge left. Grab our eraser tool, make sure it's set to the soft brush under the airbrushing category. Let's set the size at about 15%. And I'm just going to start in the middle, pushing down pretty hard so we can now see our pretty picture. And then as I get closer to the edges, I'm just going to very lightly, kind of in a circular motion, work my way towards them because I don't want to erase all of it. I want a little bit of the edge showing, a little bit of the white showing, and I kind of want it to fade out as we get closer. If you need to lower your brush size at all because you're having trouble, please do so. But I'm even going to go over the edge a little bit because the bright white is a little too bright in areas. So I'm going to get really close to the edge. And then I kind of just very, very lightly go over the whole edge there. So I'm just going to do that all the way around. Just again, following my circle shape when I'm over here and then kind of following my straight lines when I'm closer to the edges. So then when you're done, it should look something like this. And then the last thing we're going to do is just add a little bit of like a shine around it to kind of add to our 3D-ness. So let's add a new layer. Same color, this third one on the top row. And we are going to switch our brush to the soft airbrush under the airbrushing category. So not the soft brush that we were using before, but this thinner one down here, soft airbrush. Set the size to maybe 25 to 30%. And I am just going to kind of more in on my pill layer, like so not touching my edge, but more inwards. I'm just going to kind of make some little lines and curves in little sections. So like this to kind of mimic the shape of my pill. And then I will do the same thing down here. like this. So I just added a teeny bit of that. If yours ended up a little too dark, you can always go to your layer menu, click the N on this layer, and drop the opacity down to kind of lessen the effect of that. And then you can even do the same thing with your white pill layer that we just drew on the outside. If yours is just way too bright and you don't like it, click the N and drop the opacity and just kind of work with it and see what you like. I am going to leave mine as it was. So you will end up with something about like this, and that is it for our drawing today. So I hope you had fun. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more tutorials from me in the future. If you would like to share your drawing on Instagram, I would love to see it. So go ahead and post it and then tag me so that I can check it out. While you're there, go ahead and give me a follow so that you can see what I'm working on next. Thanks for watching.